Now to a gruesome discovery this week in the Bronx. Two people found murdered in a torched car. As CBS 2's Andrea Grimes reports, police sources say one of those victims was an innocent young man unknowingly swept up in a series of gang-related attacks. A young couple was found shot to death and burned beyond recognition in a car at a Bronx park. It's believed that their death was retaliation for a previous shooting, and according to law enforcement, the whole thing started all over a stolen purse. But before we get into the video, please be sure to like and subscribe. Nikki Huang and ex-college hoopster Jesse Perilla, age 22, were executed in a series of retaliatory shootings that erupted after Huang complained to her gang member friends that a rival crew robbed her of her handbag. Perilla was not a part of the deadly beef between the rival up the hill and the down the hill crews and only wound up getting mixed up in the bloodshed while spending time with Huang. The ex-hoopster's mother, Michelle Morales, who owned the car the pair was killed in, said her son knew Huang from middle school. He was a good-hearted person, just helping a friend out with the ride, she said through tears. I don't think he was aware of anything. He had no idea what was going on, because he would never put himself in a situation like that. The bodies of the tragic young couple were found in the charred car around 4.30 a.m. at the Pelham Split Rock Golf Course in the Bronx, with few clues to help cops. But detectives now suspect that the tragic series of events that led to the young couple being shot to death and burned were set in motion after Huang was robbed near a housing project on the Lower East Side. Her assailants were allegedly members of a local crew that calls itself the Down the Hill Gang. The young woman, whose family owns a nail salon and a restaurant in the Lower East Side, happened to have friends in the rival Up the Hill Gang. Instead of going to police, she complained about the crime to them. Police sources said the two gangs are second generation Big Apple crews, with Down the Hill calling Alphabet City its turf and Up the Hill controlling the Lower East Side. Apparently, the rivalry in Manhattan is so strong that they didn't let the robbery of Huang slide. Sources said the payback began Sunday with a series of shootings. At 11.18 p.m., a 39-year-old reputed member of the Down the Hill gang, Brandon Atkinson, was gunned down in Alphabet City. It wasn't known if Atkinson was actually the person who stole the purse, but he was rushed to Bellevue Hospital, where he was pronounced dead. The Down the Hill gang's payback came quickly, as less than an hour later, two Up the Hill members were shot and wounded on Pike Street. They then continued their vengeance by going after Huang herself. Cos believe the Down the Hill members targeted her for kidnapping on Sunday night while she was hanging out with Perilla. Both of the young people were grabbed by the gang and held as Down the Hill members tried to get further revenge by forcing the young woman at gunpoint to betray a friend of hers. They ordered her to call him and get him to leave his house in Queens so he could be ambushed. Police said the victim, identified by sources as Maurice Sullivan, age 27, was taking out his trash in Mazpeth when a dark colored vehicle pulled up around 2.20 a.m. and shot him in the left side of the face. Tragically, the bloodshed wasn't over as Huang and her friend Perilla would be the last to die. Sometime after she called Sullivan, the victims were then driven to a quiet leafy area near the popular Bronx golf course, where they were shot gangland style and the car, owned by Perilla's mom, was set on fire. At this point, no arrests have been made and the killers are still at large. RIP to all of the victims in the story. Let me know what you guys think of this situation in the comment section and please be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.